Hey there, welcome to my Dollar Tree DIY for a wood lantern. To do this project, the supplies I used were two Dollar Tree Tumbling Tower games, four of the Dollar Tree 32 inch long skewers. They come in a pack of 12, but I only ended up using four. A piece of Dollar Tree nautical rope. This is optional, you don't have to use this. This is something I did. I also used a small $1 wood tray that I found at a craft store, but you could totally use, get another box of the game pieces and use that to build your base. I just really like the shape of this box, and so that's why I got, got that and used it. Also, a hot glue gun, some tacky glue, a small saw, some paint brushes, a pair of scissors, two paints in your choice of color, one lighter and one darker, sandpaper, ruler, and some spackle. You'll need 32 of the wood blocks for the tall pillars. They're gonna stack four high end to end for each one. So then I took a ruler and used it to lay out four blocks. I then took my tacky glue, which seemed to work better than any of the other glues I tried. E6000 took way too long to harden and dry and um, this worked pretty well for me. So this took about 30 minutes uh, for it to get to a point where I was able to still continue working. The bond was good enough. Make sure when you put it on, I used a paintbrush, but make sure when you put it on, you get every part of the surface. So even if it oozes out a little bit, it's better to have it everywhere. That way it gives a good bond. You're going to do that step seven more times for eight pillars in total. Then we're going to make a box shape out of eight blocks, as you see in the picture to the right. This will be the top edge of the lantern. Then you're going to make another one, same, same shape, uh, for the lid, and you'll glue all these pieces together. So this is what you should have at this point in time as the basic structure for your lantern. Now, once the glue was dry, I used my fingertips and spread spackle into the joints between the wood pieces because they weren't all exactly the same size as far as thickness and it left kind of ridges. I had a kind of an issue with this. And so my remedy was to put a little spackle in these gaps and then let that dry for about 15 minutes. This spackle is quick dry and it went from pink to white. So that's how I knew it was dry. Once that was done, I sanded the spackle even with the wood. Then using a ruler, I marked the halfway points on each side of the square tray on the bottom if you flip it over. I used these markings to place each of my center posts. I took the tacky glue and added the eight posts evenly spread out on the tray that I had flipped upside down, and then I attached the top rim with glue. You now have your main frame, and now we're gonna add bracing center pieces. So to add the center pieces, you measure the distance between the posts, or the pillars, and then you trim them down with your saw. Then you use, I used tacky glue and hot glue for this because I wanted to make sure it stayed in there, and it was, to help sturdy up the piece. Next, we're gonna glue four blocks at an angle inside the square lid, as you see in the picture to the far left. We're gonna glue two blocks together end to end then and place them on top of those angled pieces. Uh, measure those two pieces that we just glued together uh, to get the size of skewer you want to go. I, I added the skewer because there was a gap on both sides of that piece and I just wanted to fill it in. Then cut one block in half for the top knob on the lantern. I stacked them and glued them together. I wanted a more completed look for the edges on the top, so I measured out an end of a large craft stick that I had laying around. I cut the shape out that you see on the left 
picture. And then I cut that shape in half and used one piece for each end, as you see there, and just glued it on. And I kind of like how it looks. It gave it a little more finished look rather than a raw edge. Next, we're going to measure and cut the skewers for the cross sections. The ends of the skewers are going to need to be cut at an angle so that they'll slide in for a nice snug fit. Do this for all of the open spaces on each side of the lantern. Then we're going to work on adding the skewer pieces to the lid. I just cut two and slid them in on each uh, angled side of the lid as shown and glued them in place. Now it's time to paint. I used a white chalk paint as my base coat color. Of course, you could use any color you want. And I painted the entire inside and outside of the lantern with my white chalk paint. Once it was painted, I took a contrasting color and I used a dark gray for this part. I dry brushed the edges to help make it look weathered. Now, as I said before, this part is optional. This is where I cut a piece of rope to a desired length of whatever size loop I wanted on the top. I hot glued the ends of the rope so that it wouldn't fray, and then I attached it to the underside of the lid with hot glue. And that's it. I was done with this lantern. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please follow me on Instagram and have a great day. Again, this is Laurie at Laurie Creations.